What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. And we're about to check out every Stone Cold Stunner to The Rock. Now, before we get into this video, I want to talk about something real quick. Now, I'm not sure if you guys remember, but I uploaded a video, I want to say a few weeks back, talking about one of my uh, close friends at the time being stuck in the simp shadow realm. And, um talking about just you know how he ended up there and you know just that whole little situation i was kind of making light of it but at the same time it was it was it was it was, it was definitely serious for what it was but you know i just turned the negative into something lighthearted. well i want to give an update to that story um basically i was able to have a conversation with that individual and me and my friends we was able to get him out the simp shadow realm um it's it's a beautiful thing when you're able to help your homie out get out of that that darkness you know what i'm saying all jokes aside me and him we just had a conversation and you know we just we talked it out like men and we squashed the issues that we had and we good you know what i'm saying and the only reason why i'm bringing this up is because i want people to be able to you know not be afraid to have a conversation with somebody make amends with people don't be too prideful to not make amends because life is too short and you don't want to go through life having animosity with someone you know when you can easily make amends with it and with that person if it's there and of course if the timing is right but never go through life feeling like you can't you know make things right with people because you never know when your time may come and you don't want to have any type of animosity on your heart. Me personally, I don't want to go through life knowing that I have an issue with someone and, you know, being in a situation where I may not be able to make that situation better or make that situation right. You feel me? That's just me personally. Hopefully this, you know, something that you guys can take and learn from. But uh, enough of me rambling on about that. Uh, we're about to check out this video, man. If there's anybody that can take a stone cold stunner, it's The Rock. He easily takes the best stunners and he always made the move look so more impactful than it really was. So looking forward to this video. It's going to bring back so many memories of nostalgia. Appreciate all the love and support. Let's check it out. <clears throat> Give me that. <laughs> he the hell out of this. Oh my god. This this one right here, legendary one. WrestleMania 17. He first of all, Vince McMahon sold getting his he just got clocked over there in the corner. So he sold that. And then Stone Cold. And not Stone Cold, The Rock sold this stunner so well. And this is like his patented move. He'll get stunned and then he'll push off on the ground, hit the ropes and start flopping, flopping all over the place. Fucking love this shit, man. And the crowd eats it up. The crowd eats it up. Look at this. <laughs> oh my God, this is great. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. <laughs> This was this one was great too. This is when uh Stone uh the Rocket came back. He was uh doing movies in Hollywood. He came back from Hollywood. And he was pretty much a heel at this time. And yo, this was so funny. Because he got hit with the stunner and he's just <laughs> just standing there fucking oh my gosh, bro. Even the rock being a heel was so entertaining, bro. That's that's when you just have someone that's just they're entertaining. You Heal her face. You you can't deny it. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> and the crowd loves it. Look at this. Every time he gets hit, man. 
the crowd eats it up because he sells it so well, bro. <laughs> he got something with the camera. <laughs> he got stunned and then got him with the championship belt. This is great, bro. <laughs> Oh man, this is bringing back so many great memories, bro. I miss just <laughs> I miss wrestling like this, where you had just so many like, characters that people were invested in, and like. <laughs> But I was saying, man, you just had so many characters that you were invested in. There was characters that you loved to see get their ass whooped. And there was characters that you loved to see win. There was asshole characters. There was, you know, heroic characters, crazy ones, wacky ones, funny ones. Like, it was so many different characters to the wrestlers that it just made it so much more enjoyable for me, man. I miss those days. And boom, give me that. <laughs> oh man, bro. This this brought back many memories, bro. This brought back so many memories, man. But uh hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hope you guys enjoyed that reaction. And I wanna know. I wanna know. Comment down below. What's your favorite Stone Cold versus The Rock match? My favorite personally would have to be the match they had at WrestleMania 17. Oh, the hype to that match was in, just in, intense. Not only because it was in Houston at the time, but the fact that that match was built up so great. You had arguably the two most over individuals in the company at that time going at it. It was one of those things where it's not too many matches where you have a face versus a face. They were both faces. And it didn't matter. Like, it was just enjoyable to watch. Uh, I wasn't the biggest fan of the outcome of Stone Cold turning heel. I think they, they made a mistake on that. I don't think he should have turned heel because it didn't really work because people were still cheering him. <laughs> he had to do a lot to get some booze. Like, it didn't really work. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's still, it's, the ending was still iconic. The ending with him toasting beers with uh vince mcmahon at the end of the match and screwing over the rock that was iconic as hell because you never thought you would ever see that happen but ultimately still one of my favorite matches from them so comment down below what's your favorite match from stone cold and the rock going against each other let me know what whether it was at a raw or smackdown with pay-per-view let me know I want to, you know, get your guys' opinion on that. But I appreciate all the love and support, man. Road to 20K. Before I end this video, like I said at the beginning of this video, man, if you have a chance to make amends with someone, do it. There's no point in going through life um, and not trying to make things right with certain individuals. You know what I'm saying? Just do it. There's nothing wrong with that, man. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 20K once again. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.